So the, the lecture that I just gave was talking about bringing elite, elite level Olympic athletes back to a higher level of, of competition. And what we found out is that in the past when athletes would have a really bad knee injury with meniscus tears and several ligaments torn, it was basically career ending. And we've done a lot of research here at the Institute to try to look at ways to have better ways to reconstruct the meniscus and the torn ligaments. And now what we're doing is implementing that in these high level athletes. And it's validating that our research is, is good because we're getting a lot of high level athletes back with really bad injuries to full competition and competing in the Olympics within a year of their injury. It's an interesting question because uh, one of my best friends is Lars Engerbretz and he's head of the whole program for the Olympics. So I've been aware of it from the day that he started in his new job in Lusain. So it's something I've always had a goal to be involved with that. And part of the recruitment here for me eight years ago was to try to make us a designated Olympics training center for research. So it's something that I always wanted to do. And um, part of it is to be able to continue to look at prevention and not only just prevention, but also treating these high level athletes to get them back to full competition. So it's something that I was aware of many years ago from its inception up until now. And I'm very proud of the fact that we're able to be an ILC des designated research center because it shows that and validates that the high, high level of quality of work that we do is worthwhile. And what we found out is that athletes that specialize sooner rather than later have a higher rate of injury, have a higher rate of burnout, and don't achieve the same levels. So athletes that participate in multiple sports ultimately end up being higher level athletes at the end. I think it's because you can get burned out and if you're just working in one particular area, you're gonna have overuse injuries. And overuse injuries is a big problem. If you have an overuse injury when you're 12 or 13 years old, there's a very high likelihood you're never gonna to get to an elite status because your body's breaking down. So if you spread it out and play multiple sports, then there's a much lower chance that you're gonna have problems with having overuse injuries. And then your dexterity and your speed and your endurance are gonna benefit from doing other things. And ultimately, when you do specialize at a much later age, there's less chance that you will have those breakdowns or, or mental breakdowns that, that'll prevent you from being an elite level athlete. Well, the number one injury that causes problems in taking somebody out of a career is, is knee injuries, and that's what I specialize in. So I don't know if we can pre prevent these injuries, but the level that I'm looking at is preventing the re-injury. So with an ACL reconstruction, if you miss two or three things that you think are minor and you don't fix them, that may cause the athlete to have another re-tear of their ACL, and that definitely eliminates their ability to be an elite athlete. So I think part of it is learning how to address all the injuries, treating them at once, and then making sure you get them back to full activities. And I, that's how I look at prevention in my world of knee surgery, because I, I have a very high rate of, of patients that are sent to me by other physicians or that have failed surgeries, and we have a very successful outcomes with those injuries. And part of it is just recognizing and treating the whole spectrum of injuries and not just looking at an ACL or a meniscus, looking at everything together. The way I was recruited away from my previous job was they promised to build me a lab and buy me a robot. So it's something that I've brought into my practice on a regular basis. When I used to work with knees, I'd have medical students and they'd stay for 12 hour shifts and try to do the same thing over and over again, testing a knee. Well, the robot is a very good medical student because it does the same thing to within 0.1 millimeters consistently all the time. So we've developed several new surgeries based on the robot and also looking at when you have five or six ligaments torn, which one do you tighten first? Does it make a difference or not? Um, what position do you want to tighten the graft in? How much tension do you want to put in the graft? And that's what we've done and we've actually won several international and national awards for our research using the robot and figuring out better ways to do surgery.